people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa pasa, what they do. Now, welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the JCF and the SWAT team, they have captured a reputed gangster. I am speaking about Kevin McCollum, OC, a.k.a. Maki Boy, and he is affiliated with the Klansman gang, and more specific, he is aligned to Andre Blackman Bryan. Now, people, this man was captured at Oakland's apartment that is off Constant Spring Road. If you know that apartment, you can take a listen, take a look at this video. And people, there is music being played in the background. So therefore, I have to mute the audio. However, you can see the SWAT team on the scene. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Now, people, there's a saying that goes something like this. Whatever you do in life, it will always come back to haunt you. It is called karma. It is called justice. Justice will always be served. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. However, sooner or later. So, therefore, that is why I say long run, short catch. So, therefore, this man is a reputed gangster. And somehow, the popo got some information and obviously... This information was accurate because they went to the apartment and they found him and they took him into custody. So people, the moral of the story is this. Gone are the days when this gang thing used to work. When people used to feel as if crime pays and people, it paid for a little while. However, people will see that things have changed because the crimes, they are getting more serious and a whole lot of persons are losing their life specifically because of these gang. So therefore, the people them put on them foot. I am speaking about the JSF. I am speaking about the justice system and people, them hold the next one. So people, I say this to say that if you choose a lifestyle of crime, more than likely that lifestyle is going to catch up to you. However, people, like I said, this is preliminary information. As soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about a video that I posted in my WhatsApp group yesterday. And it pertains to a lady that was dancing with a man. And the man was being very disrespectful to her. We are speaking about a man that looked like some sort of bum. While this lady, it is obvious that she was on something. It is obvious that she basically buck up on some hard time. So, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look. To a sample of this video and then you understand that this is YouTube. So therefore there is music in the video. So therefore I cannot play that um, video for an extended time. So people take a listen, take a look to a sample of the video. And then I'll give my piece. <laughs> now people like I said because of the music and copyrights problem. I don't want to play this video too long. However, the person that you see in the video, the lady, her name is Yan Yan. The next man, I don't know. Obviously, it seems as if both of them basically buck up on some hard time. And basically, it looks like they are on some sort of C-O-K-E coco, like I said. Now, based on the information after I posted that video, somebody contacted me that knows her very well. And they told me that her name is Yan Yan. Now, people, based on the information, she got this name because she is black Chinese. That means uh, she has a Chinese father and more than likely a black mother. Because, people, you know that Jamaica like them, say, out of many, we are one. Now, based on the information, it is said that this girl, in the days, she was one of the hot girls in the era. She had all sorts of hot care. She had all sorts of money, man. We are talking about hustler. She was like the dancehall queen of the era. And people, you understand how Jamaica go. Once you have that pretty face and you have that long ear, especially if your name is called up 
especially if you're a dancehall queen, especially if you have any sorts of money and any and everybody all the done them with all sorts of money are rush you. And you are the queen of the dancehall and you go every place and you dress up your thing look uppity uppity. People are going to always gravitate to you. However, people, it seems as if this lady, she buck up on some hard time. And based on the information, it is said that she was taking the cocker. Now, people, also based on the information, it is said that the father of Yan Yan also lost his life because he was also hooked. And his health, it basically down spiral and he died a couple of years later. Now, people, what this shows you is that be very careful with the choices that you make. Be very careful with the things that you put in your body. Be very careful of peer pressure. And even most important is that life is like a cycle. One day you're up, one day you're down. It is a yin and the yang. Nobody knows what tomorrow holds. However, the choices that you make, the friends that you keep, the persons that you have that are influential on your life and the lifestyle that you live, it will determine what happens to you because people like them say, he who fails to prepare, prepares to fail. That means that if you are doing things that are detrimental to your life, detrimental to your health, detrimental to your whole existence as a human being, it will come back to haunt you. And people, in this case, we see say, a girl that was the top of the top, Back in the days, she basically down spiral and she is now the clown or the laughing stock. So people, I say this to say that whenever you make choices in life that put you in a very bad predicament, in a bad situation and make your life even worse, don't feel as if you are going to get any sorts of handouts. Don't feel as if you are going to get any sorts of assistance from the people living in your residence, in your neighborhood. They will only make it worse. They will more take you for a laughing stop because people like them say, misery, it loves company. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called, based on information from the Popo, it is said that four persons were conned up in a place called Elam in a St. Elizabeth's. Based on the information, it is said that two of them did not make it. And the next two persons were taken to the place of recovery, where they are in serious condition. Based on the information, it is said that at about 10.30 p.m. last night, there was some sort of birthday party. And some man roll up in our vehicle and start to blaze up the place. And after the smoke clear, four people and I told you the statistics. Now people, first thing first. Certain people, you cannot give them a long rope. Whenever you give them a long rope, you give them a long rope to be a scally hang themselves. So therefore, once the government, the relevant authority open up the place, and them say, listen, we are going to extend the time that people can stay out and party. People can go on with their business. Persons are going to take advantage of that. So therefore, you are going to see the statistic as it pertains to this pandemic. It is going to increase drastically. You are going to also see shoot-ups at all sorts of party. It is going to increase drastically on people. This is just an next perfect example. So people, like I've always said, there's a saying that goes something like this. Misery, it loves company. So therefore, these gunmen, these bad men, it seems as if whenever they hear that anybody is having any sorts of fun, they want to spoil the joy and people in this case. We say that is exactly what they did. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like we say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.